It's planting season in the Black Hills National Forest. This morning, we'll show you the ongoing effort to restore an area near Custer devastated by a wildfire 20 years ago. Plus, how Sioux Falls seniors are preparing for life beyond high school. Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday. We also have your boredom busters coming up, but first, our top story. Many Kelloland families are facing financial hardships during the pandemic, so the Vermilion School District is offering a unique shopping experience to help those in need. On Saturday, organizers held their first clothing drive for a new program called The Rack, which will allow students and families to freely shop for basic needs. The Rack will offer everything from jeans and shoes to hygiene products and school supplies. We also want to use it as a tool to connect with our students and families by providing them the opportunity to volunteer and donate. So it's really going to be more so the vision of it is that everybody can benefit from it. You can come and shop from it sometimes, you can donate to it, and you can volunteer your time. Hodge started the rack by purchasing items at local secondhand clothing stores with grant money. High school students in the Sioux Falls School District are already getting prepared for life after graduation. Through two career-based programs, Classroom to Careers and the Avera Academy, students are able to learn about applying for college as well as what careers are available in the medical field. It was really designed to help students who are um, unsure or just don't know even where to begin on how to start exploring what they want to do after high school, whether that's going to college, whether it's going straight to the workforce. Both programs offer students the opportunity to earn college credits through Southeast Tech, as well as sponsorships to help pay for their post-secondary education. Prom is another rite of passage for high school seniors, but this spring tradition is a lot different during the pandemic. Saturday was a night to remember for Sioux Falls students. Following the grand marches, senior parents hosted dances for the students. Lauren Solick stopped by Lincoln's underground prom last night, and she'll bring you thoughts from a parent and students about prom during a pandemic tonight on Kelloland Weekend News. Black Hills National Forest is finishing up planting more than 153,000 pine trees in the Black Hills. It's part of an effort to reforest more than 83,000 acres burned in the Jasper fire 20 years ago. Crews have planted nearly 3 million trees since the fire. Once the seedlings are in the ground, a cone is placed around the young tree to protect it from wildlife. So we start with the seedlings, which are about six or eight inches tall, and it takes 15 years for them to get four and a half feet tall. The Forest Service says spring is the best time to plant. It's when the most moisture is expected. South Dakota's only state veteran cemetery is just over a month away from opening to the public. A Memorial Day ribbon cutting will mark the official debut for the cemetery located in Northeast Sioux Falls. It will be the culmination of a lot of hard work among veterans seeking a final resting place in eastern South Dakota. Crews are finishing up landscaping before planting grass. There are also above ground features like a committal shelter where hilltop services will be held. We'll give you a drone's eye perspective of progress at the cemetery in tonight's Eye on Kelloland at 10. Let's get our first look at the forecast now with meteorologist Adam Root in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. We've had a bit of a messy start to the day out there, but there is some improvement on the way. Here's a view of Falls Park, 35 with an east wind at 14 miles per hour. We've seen rain. We've seen snow mixing in with the rain, but now we'll gradually dry out as we head through the day and we'll warm up nicely as well. Unfortunately, if you're in northeastern Kelowna and parts of southwestern Minnesota, you might not be so lucky. 32 in Watertown right now, 36 Brookings and Aberdeen, 37 at the Capitol, 38 toward Rapid City. With a decent breeze out there out of the east by southeast across much of the area, which is putting that wind chill in the 20s this morning. Now, in terms of satellite and radar, we do have scattered rain and snow showers, if not outright snow in portions of northeast Kelloland. But I want to also focus your attention to a pretty heavy band of moisture, which is coming down as snow, at least on radar, extending from Madison south and east into the Warmington area and just clipping Spencer, Iowa. So if you're headed on I-90 east into southwestern Minnesota toward Laverne and toward Worthington, you are going to want to be careful. You may run into poor visibility and slick roads as we go through the first portion of your day today. But there is better weather to talk about, especially in the long term. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. All right. Thank you, Adam. Well, some USD students weren't about to take their attempt at a world record lying down. USD's Hammock Club hosted their first 
Hammock Festival Saturday, complete with music, food trucks, and yoga classes. Their goal was to get more people swinging in trees all over Clay County Park. Hopefully today we'll break the world record. Um, I've told myself it's okay if we don't. There's always next year. We're hoping this is going to be an annual thing, and we're already starting to plan for next year too. So this is going to hopefully soon be a staple of Vermilion and the USD community. Now the current record for most people hammocking one, at one time is 269, and even though the hammock club fell a little short of that number, they still had more than 100 people show up. Runners on your mark for the Sioux Falls Skedaddle Half Marathon. The race started at 7 o'clock in the parking lot of the Avera IT building at 212 East 11th Street. Food vendors are now open at that location ahead of the finish line party, which starts at 9 a.m. An awards program will be held at 11 o'clock. American Legion Post 15 is hosting a post everlasting ceremony to honor members who have passed away over the last year. The ceremony begins at 2 o'clock at the South Dakota Military Heritage Alliance on West Russell Street in Sioux Falls. The Dakota String Quartet and the Dakota Wind Quintet will be performing a stained glass concert at Our Savior's Lutheran Church in Sioux Falls. The performance is at 2.30. Tickets are $10. Downtown Hartford, Inc. is hosting a spring art show featuring local artists and student exhibits. The art show is taking place from 1 to 4 at 120 main events in Hartford. Admission is free. Films playing at the historic State Theater in downtown Sioux Falls include Another Round, not rated, and Borat, subsequent movie film, rated R. Adam? Well, satellite and radar is going to stay active for a little while longer, especially in eastern and northeastern parts of Kelowna. And you see that heavier banding going into southwestern Minnesota right now as a brief hit of heavy snow moving through the Laverne and Worthington areas. That's going to gradually exit as we head through the morning. Also, scattered rain and snow showers extending north on I-29, eventually into the Aberdeen area. But like I said, we do have better weather on the way later on this afternoon as a warm front lifts up to the north. So we do dry out gradually, but not everybody gets in on those warmer temperatures. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Here we go through Futurecast, and we do actually have another opportunity for some rain and just rain at that. Later on tonight in the Monday morning, starting off to the west and then moving north and east. Wouldn't be surprised if maybe a nice way to thunderstorm popped up now and again. But again, this is mainly going to be a scattered shower event. And goodness knows, northern parts and northwestern parts of Kilgoland, for that matter, really could use any rain they can get. Monday gets off to a great start, especially for southern and southeastern Kilgoland. 70s, a few 80s, not out of the question for high temperatures. But then we have another chance for rain moving into northwestern South Dakota overnight. And then again, and going into Tuesday. That being said, once we get through Wednesday, that's going to really be it for appreciable rainfall chances for a decent while. Still, the short term gives multiple opportunities for much needed moisture, especially to the north and west, around a third of an inch of rainfall, not out of the question going into Tuesday evening and Wednesday. Any bit is going to help. And that's going to certainly be a nice bit of good news with even better news on the way as we head toward the start of May. Temperatures near to above average are expected as we head through the end of April and eventually into the start of the new month. So you can look forward to that as well. We're talking about 70s and again, even 80s, not out of the question as we head toward the tail end of the extended outlook. Today, though, results may vary on the thermometer. 40s to northeast and even into southwestern Minnesota. 60s and 70s elsewhere where we clear out and get in on some sunshine a little bit quicker. Those 40s do in part to cloud cover and lingering moisture to go right along with it. Overnight low temperatures in the 30s the further north you go. 40s along and south of I-90. We do have that chance for some rain and a couple of thunderstorms storms in western and northern parts of South Dakota. For your day on Monday, 70s and 80s the further south and east you go, but 50s and 60s the further north. That's still not bad, though, considering where we are on the calendar. Your seven-day forecast does feature another warm-up on the way, but not before we have another chance for some showers, maybe even a thunderstorm on Tuesday in Sioux Falls, some isolated showers Wednesday morning. Then it's smooth sailing headed into the start of May as we climb back into the 70s and even toward 80 once again. Have a great day, everybody. For more on your local news, weather, and sports, you can always head on over to Kelpoland.com.